Now, we've talked about adding um, halogens using HBr, HCl, some type of strong acid that will form a carbocation, and we've talked about doing it with radicals. What happens if you just add Cl2 and Br2 with no light to promote free radical dissociation? Well, what you're going to get is the addition of both the Br Cl2 or the Br2 to both sides of the bond. So we're going to die. We're going to add two halogens to it. What's the complication with this? Well, the mechanism is really complicated. But basically what ends up happening is that you do an anti-addition. So we're going to attach two halogens on opposite sides of this double bond. So let's just do them with X's. In this case, we'll have one up and we'll have one down. Now, since they're doing an anti-addition, whatever this has, if there is an existing substitution, it's going to end up being opposite the halogen that's being added. So we will always get this anti-addition. We're not going to get a racemic mixture. So challenge with this is keeping track of your stereochemistry. Now, we again, we're going to work with both Cl2 or Br2 in terms of our X groups, but this is how we can do a halogen addition to a double bond.